Hey guys, welcome back to the Kool-Aid Podcast. Welcome back to another video. On today's video, we're going to be continuing talking about Ron Araujo as could Ron Araujo help Barcelona uh, with their SFP situation. And then as well, we're going to be talking about Pau Victor, a player who could become a Barcelona player. Well, who could extend his stay as a Barcelona player. And then as well, we're going to be talking about Pau Cobarsi as Pau Cobarsi right now looks ahead to the Olympics. Uh, but guys, before I get started on the video, make sure to follow me on all my social media platforms. Everything is posted down below in the description. Go over there and check me out. That way you guys can stay up to date with everything that I do on the channel. But guys, let's get started with the video. All right, guys, let's talk about Ron Araujo because as I said, you know, in the intro right now, can Ron Araujo help Barcelona with their FFP situation? Uh, because if you guys don't know, I talked about it on my two previous videos, actually. Ron Araujo, he has undergone surgery successfully and that he is going to be missing roughly four months of action. He will be back in December. And the thing is, Barcelona right now, they are looking to register other players before Ron Araujo. And uh, Barcelona, uh, they're looking at potential options to do something similar that they did with Gavi, you know, in the past year where they unregistered Ron, uh, where they unregistered actually Gavi and they registered Vitor Roque. And so Barcelona uh, right now, they can use 80% of Ron Araujo's salary to register players. Um, and now this is not indicative of Barcelona's financial situation. It's just that we have players earning huge, huge money at Barcelona, for example, like Frankie de Jong and Robert Lewandowski, the two highest earners in La Liga. And so it's just FFP space. It's just salary space. Barcelona is not broke or anything like that. That's just not the case. It's just having that salary space. And so what Barcelona, they're going to be looking to do is say, hey, you know, since Ronald Rajo is not going to be playing for these next four months, let's not register him and let's register, for example, another player. And then, you know, when Ronald Rajo, he does come back, then Barcelona is going to have to look, um, you know, for that FFP space, that salary space in order to bring on Ron Rajo. It's just something similar that Barcelona did, uh, you know, back then with Gabi and Vitor Roque. And uh, as you guys can see right now, uh, this is Ron Araujo uh, taking a picture uh, with the surgeon who operated uh, on his hamstring injury. And, uh, you know, as I said before, we wish Ron Araujo all the best in his recovery. Uh, but now, guys, I'm going to be talking about Paul Vitor because uh, Paul Vitor is going to become a Barcelona player. Now, he was on loan from Girona last season working under, um, you know, Rafa Marquez. And uh, Barcelona, they've reached an agreement with Girona uh, in a deal worth a little bit more than 3 million euros and that uh, he will be taking part in Barcelona's preseason tour and their first team preseason tour and you know he's been very impressive and very very good uh in you know the third division of Spanish football there's been some very very good reports about him and that uh, he scored 20 goals in 39 appearances last season and um you know he's going to be taking some more of a similar role of that of for example of a mark you last season where occasionally he was caught up uh he did have some minutes in the first team and he will be providing some competition to robert lewandowski and victor roque and uh, it's funny enough you know because if Paul Vitor is already going to going to be you know brought up to the first team then what is that going to mean for Roque because Roque right now uh he isn't having the best times at Barcelona you know there's some reports that saying hey Barcelona they're looking uh to you know sell him permanently others looking for a loan but the thing is I'm not like I'm not bringing you guys any news in regards to Roque because until Barcelona they actually go out on preseason and they play their matches then a lot of these you know, futures, uh, all, all of the players' futures, they aren't going to be decided until the end of that preseason. And uh, Paul Victor, an exciting young talent who had a very, very good season at Barcelona, continues at the club and uh, will be giving some minutes in the first team. Uh, but now, guys, I'm going to be talking about Pau Cobarsi because Pau Cobarsi, he looks ahead to the Olympics and, um, you know, he's going to be a big miss for Barcelona. In these next couple upcoming weeks, he's going to be competing in the Olympics uh, for for Spain and uh, we will be missing his absence, but he does speak about it in, in, uh, in some very glowing terms. And this is what he has to say. I'm enjoying the Olympics to the fullest because I like it. I've always wanted to be here. 
Honestly, a year ago, I would not have imagined being here. We are really looking forward to it. We have been preparing for the first game for a long time, and we are excited because it could be a great tournament. We are going to approach it with great ambition right there. Balco Arce showing some hunger. And he continues, he says, we've been in the Olympic Village these four days and there's been a good atmosphere. You can see other athletes and working methods. Uh, we followed the Euros. It was a great source of pride for all Spaniards. We have a great desire to try and win the double. It would be historic. And um, no, as we do, as we all want, we want Paul Cuarci to have a successful uh, Olympics tournament because if he does have a successful campaign, then that, that's just going to boost his confidence and grow uh, you know, um, himself as a player. And he says, we're always aiming for the maximum. We're Spain, and we have to be able to do that. If we compete and play well, we'll have a great tournament. And uh, you know, right there, Paul Cuarci, he talks about the Euros. He says, hey... I'm looking forward uh, to the tournament and hopefully, you know, Paul Cuarci, as I said, you know, he has a successful tournament and he, and he is able to basically explode into, into the world, just like, for example, a Lamine Yamal did. But um, Paul Cuarci looks ahead uh, to the Olympics. Uh, but guys, that was it for the Barcelona news of the day. Definitely let me know your guys' thoughts down below in the comments. Do you guys think it's a good move uh, to unregister? Uh, Rajo in order to register other Barcelona players. Do you guys think that that's just, you know, complicating things? Um, also, what do you guys make of Paulo Victor continuing at Barcelona? And lastly, uh, Paulo Cuarci's words, looking ahead to the Olympics. Uh, but guys, as always, thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for tuning in. Make sure to like, subscribe, and comment. And I'll see you guys all in the next video. Peace out, guys. Dale, dale,